So we're gonna cook the most beautiful, beautiful lamb chops. This is a real treat. This is a dinner, uh, something that you can share with someone you love. So look at these beautiful French trimmed lamb chops. They're gorgeous. But if you get them untrimmed, that's absolutely fine. What I wanna do is take a little bit of time just to score the fat. This clever hack will help to quickly render down the fat so you can cook the lamb without the need for extra oil. This is gonna look beautiful and it's gonna go really crispy, which is gonna be joyful to eat. So we're gonna season up these little bad boys. Lovely sea salt, the board and the meat, plenty of black pepper, rub it into the skin, all those little cuts, get all that seasoning in there. Right, then we're gonna put the lamb almost back together again, right, as a little rack of fat. So we're gonna put this in here like that. So what I'm gonna do is put real emphasis on the skin. Now it's gonna render all that away, but see this meat here? This is the sweet meat, and that benefits from being a little bit overcooked. So we're gonna have incredible juicy eye meat, really gnarly meat around the side, and crispy, crispy skin. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, next bit, baby carrots. Now, of course, you can use regular orange baby carrots, but if you look down good supermarkets or really good farmer's markets, the colors are so beautiful. And for me, if, if you see it, just buy it. With the carrots, just take the end off like this, just about a centimeter from the top. So about 200 grams carrots here. To cut down the cooking time, chop any chunky ones in half. Now back to the pan, all right? See the fat that's come out here? This is great. We have a little sneak peek, all right? You can see that we're not cooking the actual meat, but we're starting to render that fat. We go in with the carrots. This is what I really love about this recipe, one pan. We've got our carrots benefiting from everything that's cooking and rendering out of the lamb. Now for the third ingredient, garlic. Best friends with lamb and carrots, actually. So get a bulb. You want about eight cloves. And then, really importantly, we're going to cook the garlic in the skin. The skin is the most incredible protective layer. So what you want to do is not smash it to pieces, but a light little slap. But it's really subtle little things, but that light little crack releases enough of the garlic flavour to flavour the whole dish, but keep the garlic protected inside so you can devour it as a caramelised little sweetie. It's absolutely delicious. And then I've got some orange. Halve two oranges, and then nick the zest off of one orange. Avoid this bitter part, and you just have this incredible orange part. And when that hits the fat of the lamb, it kind of curls up and kind of goes, chewy and just sweet and perfumed and delicious. Three halves, one zest, it's all looking good. Now, in the pan here, these carrots are kind of pretty much cooked. You can see they're catching and blistering. The lamb, by the way, is still largely raw, but the skin is crispy. This is such a cool way to cook lamb. To finish, just turn the chops on their sides and sear. At this stage in the game, I'm gonna go in with the orange zest, okay? And as soon as that hits the fat, then we got another little story. Look at the colors. It's kind of like autumn in a pan. And what I love about it is it's all focused on cooking the most perfect and precisely gorgeous lamb chop. And then the last ingredient is thyme. And whenever thyme goes in, it's like fireworks, because it goes nuts. It starts spitting and popping in a really beautiful way. So in it goes, and have a little listen. Chop's done. It's so quick and easy. Just one more ingredient and we're there. We're gonna go orange juice. And in a matter of seconds, we're gonna reduce down the juice from these three oranges into the most fantastic glaze. This whole thing about five ingredients is a real lesson on less is more and also a focus on technique. So just thinking back over this recipe, skin for five minutes until it's really, really crispy, then just two minutes on each side. And then like the moment when I put the juice in, cook it down and it's gone from boiling to now frying again. You see how glazed that is? That's gonna be outrageous to eat. What a treat. Gnarly, sticky, sweet lamb chops in no time at all. Serve that in the middle of the table. Yeah, you can pair it up with a carb of your choice, maybe some steamed greens, but that is an incredible way to cook lamb chops.
Oh my God, it's really, really good. The carrots, they haven't even been parboiled and they're totally soft and actually they're more intense in flavor. They haven't lost any flavor in the water. It's all happened in the pan. And then the garlic. Out comes this beautiful little sweetie that's mild, sweet, a little charred on one side, it's a little soft on the other. Absolutely gorgeous. It's proper get in there, get stuck in, mop it all up. Mm. That's an absolute winner. Luxurious lamb chops, loaded with flavour, the perfect sharing treat. Crazy delicious, but so quick and easy.